once you finalize the co-writers for the song as well as their own shares, then you should regis register the song right away regardless if it's been released or not. If you want to have your personal publishing entity attached to the registrations we make on your behalf, then you have to register your entity with the society so it gets assigned its own IPI. And that's just because our system won't accept um, publishers without an IPI. If you have co-writers, you still want to register the song yourself. Um, just make sure to include all your co-writers' information. Once the registration gets to society, they'll merge everything so that there'll only be one song registration which e with each co-writer listed. So you also want to make sure that even though you're registering the song yourself, you have to include your co-writers, even if they are managed by a different publisher. Um, this is because if you get the splits wrong, the songs will go into conflict and your payments will be held. Regardless if the song has been released or not, um, you should still make sure to set yourself up with a publisher and add that song into your account. Most places will let you collect retroactively, so that means that we'll still be able to collect the money that was generated before you signed up. So the ISRC is a code assigned to the sound recording, while the ISWC is a code assigned to the underlying composition that's embedded into the sound recording. Black box royalties or black box income is money that's collected by society such as your performing rights society but can't be paid out because the society can't locate the copyright owners. The best way to avoid having your royalties end up in the black box is to make sure that you're properly registering your song with all the proper co-writers, splits, and any relevant metadata. Unless you've gotten permission to claim a share of the publishing for the new song from the original copyright holders of the song you're sampling, you actually cannot register that song, and that's because the original owners are entitled to a share of the new work. There's no set standard on who owns what of a song, so if you write with co-writers, all, all the splits are up for negotiation, so make sure you agree with your co-writers who owns what, and we always recommend filling in a split sheet.